Hello YouTube. Now it's time we're going to start the leaf casting process with Roger's book. Now I'm going to show a little bit more in detail what I do in order to create the pulp. So what we have here is just a beaker of regular warm water. Now the leaf casting that we are going to do we want to fill in all of these areas so this lower part of the spine this gap it's going to fill in this area it's not going to be a lot that's why i think this book is going to be a perfect candidate for leaf casting now with the whiz comics cover here is the back of the cover and the pulp that i used doesn't match up with the white although we did get it whiter it doesn't match up as you can see this is a bright white and what i did for that cover is i used a sketch pad and this is high quality sketch paper 50 pounds and it is acid free that's very important because if we're going to do it with paper that is filled with acid why are we even going to waste our time so another excuse me another issue that i have or not an issue a, a, a problem that we're going to try to solve is with the whiz cover i used four pieces of paper because there were a lot of leaf casting with this there's very little so what I'm thinking we're gonna do is I'm just going to use two pieces of paper versus four. And then what I'm gonna do is I have a tan color sketch pad. As you can see, it's toned tan. And it also this is acid free. So I'm thinking that I'm going to use half of the tan, or actually let's do three quarters, because the mixture of the two, when made into a pulp, I believe will be a proper color to fit in and to basically match this white that we have here. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use two to one, and hopefully it works. So what do we do to make the pulp? Well, let's get this away. It's very simple. We have our water, and then what I wanna do is I want to just rip it up into little pieces. Now, this was one of the issues I had doing the leaf casting in the past, I did not let the actual pieces of paper soak enough. You want these little pieces of paper to dissolve basically to the touch. So what I mean is, you know, when you soak water, uh, paper for a long time, it gets very soft and it will break up very easily. So the better and softer the paper is and the more dissolvable it is, the better pulp it will make when we do the leaf casting. So here you go, this is it. Rip it up into little pieces. I stir it a little bit once in a while to dissolve it. And I'll have this paper soaking for a good eight hours. That's what I'm gonna do. Let it soak, let it dissolve. And then the next step, as you'll see, is we'll make the pulp, we'll, pulp, we'll set up the leaf casting table, and then we're gonna get ready to leaf cast Roger's book. And I have a feeling it will turn out very well based on my past practices and employing new methods that I learned in doing my book. So stay tuned, I'm gonna do one video for the leaf casting. Okay, guys, just a little quick update with the next step. I let the paper soak in my vessel probably for a good six to eight hours. So 
it is a little less rigid and it is breaking up nicely. So what I wanna do is I break it up a little bit like this with my hands and then we're gonna pour it into the old blender. So the next step is I'm gonna let it soak in the blender and I'm gonna pulsate it like you're making pina coladas or margaritas. I had a lot of pina coladas this weekend. It was very nice, but this is a paper pina colada. So you put it in and put it on and then I'm just gonna pulsate it. And that's not good, some water shot out. So we're gonna pulsate it a little bit and we're gonna continue doing that until a nice puree is developed. And I'll do this frequently. We'll let it soak, we'll puree it more, and then we'll do the leaf casting. So stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, I am back. And I have to say I'm not liking the color of the pulp. To me, it looks a little too dark. So what I'm gonna do to solve it is I'm gonna pour some of the pulp out, at least half of it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak another sheet of white in water, and then I'm gonna add it to this pulp with more water, and then hopefully this will adjust the color. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, the time has come. We're gonna prep Roger's book for leaf casting. So what I do is I give it a nice little spray just to moisten it. And what I really wanna do then is I wanna flatten it out because we don't want it to bubble up or anything like that, which it is a little bit, but that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll put another piece of the Rame paper over it. We're gonna remove this and then we'll wet this. This helps it to stay flat. And this is in preparation of the leaf casting. So I'm gonna smooth it out nice. And we're gonna get it ready for the leaf casting. So what else I'm gonna do is we are going to, that lifted up a little bit, which is fine. So what we're gonna do now is I am going to put some methyl cellulose on the areas that we want to be concentrated because then that will help absorb the leaf casting mixture a little bit better. So we got this area as well. And that looks about it. And then we got the little rip right here as well. Very good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this piece on so it stays flat. Gently lift it up. We'll let that sit and we're gonna get the bath ready. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I have the cover in the leaf casting table, but Bear with me, because I'm gonna have to set it up now. So what we do is we're gonna form the perimeter right now with craft foam. So as you can see, I wanna make it where the leaf casting will 
we'll make a little perimeter around the book to fill in the gaps. So we'll do the bottom one. Now it looks like we have to raise it a little bit because the bottom is important because we do have to fill in that. Now we're gonna do this side and eventually this will all be cut away with a, a razor blade, but I wanna do a nice perimeter. So there's your perimeter. So I'm very happy with that. It looks even to a degree all around. Then we're gonna put our top grate. Then we're gonna put our weights. Now bear with me, I'm gonna get the water. So I'm gonna pause it and then I'll refill. Okay guys, here is the first pitcher of water. And what I am doing is I'm putting, there's a piece of glass here that I'm going to remove because what I experienced with the Wiz Comics is when I did put the water in, the comic cover shifted. But as you may recall, the Wiz Comics had three pieces. So we're gonna do three pitchers of water, so stay tuned. This is the second pitcher of water. And then I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna get the third pitcher of water. Okay guys, here we go. I have the three pitchers of water. I wanna move my piece of glass. Let's get rid of that. Now we're gonna do Let's make sure everything's lined up, which it looks pretty good. I don't like this one right here, so I'm gonna move that if I can. That's better. Okay, very good. Now we're gonna put the pulp and I'm gonna give it a nice mix before, and I'm slowly gonna drop the pulp in. And hopefully the color is what we need. I think it will be. We're lucky for Roger's sake. I think it will be good. I'm gonna move this so it's consistent. And I'm gonna drain it now. Bear with me. Here it goes. Hopefully my pulp mixture is on mark. Hopefully the color is what we want. I think it will be. It will be better than bright white. It is draining nicely. Only time will tell. We can hope for the best, and I think we'll be in good shape with this one. The cover is slowly revealing itself. OK, 
Okay, guys, let's see. I'll remove the candlesticks. Let me remove this top grate. Remove the plastic. It looks like the area is filled in that I wanted. So stay tuned guys, I'm gonna bring it over to my other workbench. Okay guys, it looked like it filled in pretty good in the spots that I wanted it to. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna put a piece of Reme paper over the top and then what I want to do is gently smooth out the paper because this is what is going to strengthen the drawing time. And remember, even though I want to look at it, the main thing that we want to do is we want to let it dry as best as possible. Another thing is I have a clean roller. So what I wanna do is I roll it flat with a roller to roll out the paper as it is. Okay, so what I wanna do now is I wanna put it on look at all the water that came out so let's get rid of that let's put three new pieces of paper one two three two three and then i want to transfer the remay paper onto the paper towel just like that. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna use some paper towels and we're gonna blot it dry as best as possible. To flan it out as best as I can. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time to remove. We'll start with some nice fresh paper towels. Again, one, two, three. Let's put this back on. There we go. Let's give it another brushing. Smooth it out. I'm gonna give it another rolling, especially on the spine area because that's where the trouble was. Give it a nice rolling hopefully to smooth out the pulp. 
just like painting moldings. This type of roller I use to paint moldings because I don't like brush marks. And then we'll give another brushing and we want to go outwards. Then let's put three pieces of paper towel over it. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna put my second piece of glass over it. And then we're gonna do the weights. Okay, YouTube, we're just gonna leave this. We're gonna let it sit. And I'm gonna change the paper towels probably about in an hour and I'll keep on doing it and we'll check it out. So stay tuned.